Did you know Anne Margaret had an affair with Elvis Presley? Did you know she escaped near-death situations with more fractured bones than she could count? In today's video, we'll be looking at many such untold truths in the life of Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret was born in Valjopin, Jatland, country, Sweden. Her parents were average income earners, so Anne didn't enjoy most luxuries of life as a growing child. Her mother would enroll her in a dance class as soon as she could walk, and Anne could mimic the dance steps perfectly. Her parents gave her a lot of support when they saw her potential, but things were about to get worse. Anne's father, Gustav, had a severe injury while working at his job, and this kept him at home for a very long time. Anne's mother had to become a funeral parlour receptionist to make ends meet. Sizes I would take part-time job, house cleaning mm -hmm. for family and friends. Mm -hmm. That would give me a chance to be home when she got back from school. I thought that was very important. Yes. Well, Anne continued school but could not graduate. She made her first television appearance on the Morris B. Sash Amateur Hour, and even in school, she was a member of the theatre. Blessed with an angelic voice, Anne loved singing, and she wrote a lot of songs as a teenager. However, her first studio recording was not until 1961, a single she titled Lost Love, and she also released her debut album, and here she is, the same year. She was often seen as a female version of Elvis Presley. Anne's song, I Just Don't Understand, made it to the Billboard Top 40 in August 1962 and was there for six weeks, ranking number 17. The following year she was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best New Actress. Juggling acting with her music career, Anne made her film debut the same year she released her first song in the 1961 Pocket Full of Miracles with Betty Davis. However, her breakthrough role came with a feature in the 1963 American musical comedy Bye Bye Birdie, and this was just the beginning of a successful Hollywood career. The following year, 23-year-old Anne Margaret met Elvis Presley officially at the MGM Soundset, where the two filmed Viva Las Vegas, a theatrical success that did big numbers at the box office. She connected so well with the American actor that their relationship threatened Elvis's engagement with Priscilla Presley. Anyway, Anne recorded three duets with Presley, but they were not released until after his death. With over six decades of active contribution to the entertainment industry, five Golden Globe Awards, six Emmy Awards, two Grammys and a host of other achievements, Anne Margaret has cemented her status as a Hollywood giant, and she is most proud of the legacy she is leaving behind in the industry. And now, here we are today, and I'm so very honoured to be here and to be inducted into the UNLV College of Fine Arts Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. On the set of Viva Las Vegas, Elvis and Anne formed a bond that he would take to the grave. Elvis sent Anne a bouquet to all of her stage show appearances until he died in 1977. Anne, in her journal, described their relationship as one that accelerated more than she would imagine. We were indeed soulmates, shy on the outside, but unbridled within, she revealed. We both felt a current and electricity that went straight through us. But unfortunately, Elvis was already in a long-term relationship with Priscilla Presley before Viva Las Vegas, and Anne didn't want to get in the way, so as much as she hated to, she had to break it off with Elvis. Elvis did all he could to keep the love alive, but Anne got married a year after the breakup, and she was happy. Even after their relationship ended, they continued to be friends until Presley died in 1977. Anne was devastated as she mourned her dear friend. It was extremely special, it was very strong, and shared with broadcaster Charlie Rose in 1994 when she asked about her relationship with the late actor. Our relationship was very strong and very serious and very real. We went together for one year. But that's not the most traumatic part of Anne's story. Anne Margaret celebrated her 81st birthday a few months ago, and looking back at all these years, she is most thankful for her life, having survived two ghastly accidents that left her in a hospital bed for months. These two accidents coincidentally happened in her two chosen areas of interest, one on the stage during a tour and another when she was acting. The accident on the stage happened after a live performance in 1972. She was to be dropped down to the stage for her performance, but the machine malfunctioned and Anne Margaret fell almost two stories down to the stage. She was rushed to the hospital and the diagnosis revealed that she had five facial fractures. Her elbow was disjointed, a shattered jaw and a gash down the left arm. Anne woke up three days after the accident, barely able to lift a finger. 
she revealed that this was the darkest moment of her life and she wasn't sure that she would be able to perform again. But 10 weeks later, she was back on stage in Las Vegas. The second accident that nearly claimed her life was a motorcycle accident. Anne fell in love with motorcycles while on the set of the 1966 film The Swinger, where she rode a 500cc Triumph T100C Tiger, and after the movie, she got herself the exact model from the movie. Sometime in the late 2000s, Anne Margaret, while riding in Minnesota in an NHRA event in which she was the Grand Marshal, her motorcycle hit a giant rock and she was thrown off her motorcycle, rolling multiple times on the ground. She survived with a fractured left shoulder and three broken ribs. Anne remained at the hospital for several weeks, and while she was there, she counted the days until she could ride again. Even in old age, Anne relinquishes every moment she spent on the tracks. She was featured in a lot of advertisements for the Triumph motorcycle and owns one herself. Her favourite motorcycle was the Custom Harvey, which was painted lavender and had daisies on it. But bikes are not the only thing she was fond of. Anne Margaret co-starred with Jack Nicholson in two major films in her career. The 1971 romantic comedy Carnal Knowledge, which earned her first Oscar nomination, and the 1975 musical Tommy, which got her a Golden Globe and another Oscar nomination. Aside from Jack being a major part of Anne's Hollywood success, she has always described this special fondness for the actor. Oh, he was so wonderful to me, the actress revealed to Interview Magazine in July 2014 when asked about working with Jack Nicholson on Carnal Lodge. We had a scene together where I was crying and he was shouting and screaming. He always made sure I was okay and he would end up going home with laryngitis. That's the kind of guy he was. You couldn't leave us alone. We're doing so well. What? At one time, at one time, it was great what we had. And Margaret has been fortunate to be blessed with some of the best relationships. First was with Presley and then with her late husband, Robert Smith. They were married for 50 years until his death in 2017. And to her, this marriage will forever remain her greatest accomplishment. And Margaret has also always been fond of cats as she grew up around them. As a child, they lived with nine cats. Even when she moved in with her husband, Roger Smith, in their home in Los Angeles, she had so many cats that Rogers nicknamed her the Crazy Cat Lady of Benedict Canyon. Her oldest cat is named Harley, and she sees him as her best friend. He is 18 years old, the actress told Closer. He is always with me and sleeps with me every night. And Margaret, now 82, still retains all of her youthful cheerfulness and grace. She enjoys the serene life in her home in Los Angeles. She has an estimated net worth of $25 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. What do you remember about the ever gracious Anne Margaret? Do you remember seeing her on the screen with Presley? Share your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and hit subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching.